I'm going to select the preview mode here. Notice that the number of cartons and the quantity per carton does not add up to the right number. This is a situation where you're depending on someone to use the right math and they might not do so. So why bother? Why not allow Acrobat to use the computer's power to multiply this information correctly for the end user? So I'll return to editing mode. I have three fields that I need to become a part of a calculation. I'm going to move all the way over here to the total quantity, double click on it, and again, I definitely want to name this text field. In this case, we'll just call it total quantity. And in this case, I'm not going to add a tooltip because Acrobat is going to do the calculating here. In fact, I want it to be a read-only field. In other words, I don't want the user to be able to come in here and type any information at all. What I do want to have happen, though, is I want Acrobat to calculate the value that fits in that field. Because the calculated value is going to be a number, first I need to make it a number. And it's already set to number. I had pre-built that for you, so it's all set. We'll come back to calculate. The value of the field is not the sum, but the product of the following fields. And I'll click Pick. This is where your field naming becomes very, very important. I challenge you, without knowing for sure, to tell me which of these fields are the fields that need to be multiplied in order to create the right value for this Calculate field. I'm going to have to hit Cancel and click Close and go back and look. That's because this should be called something other than Text 9. So I'll open this up, click General. We'll call it QTY per carton. Click Close. And now I can return to the total QTY field. I'll open it, select Calculate, set that the value is the product of the following fields, pick, and I want quantity per carton times number of cartons, and I can click OK and close. To test it, I'll roll over here to the preview mode, type in a number that's easy to calculate in my head, type in 100, hit the tab, and it's calculating correctly. Because these are integer amounts, there are no decimals here. I want to take a look at one more of the formatting options that I've chosen here. Come over to Preview Mode, open this back up, go back to Format. I want to point out that I have definitely chosen decimal places to be zero. You can't have a tenth of a carton. Now, in some cases, you might, but on this shipping memo, I don't want there to be a tenth of a carton. And so that's why I've eliminated the possibility of any decimal places by setting it to zero. And that's one of those user experience things that you want to make sure you're testing when you're building a form. When you have it calculate, it's possible for the user to come in, type a number, and attempt to enter perhaps a decimal point. Maybe they think it's appropriate to order 100.5 cartons. You don't want them to. So not only do you want to calculate this value to make sure that it's correct, but you want to make sure that the user can't enter the incorrect type of information by formatting the fields.